welcome to all you fans of flip clocks to this live review of a interesting flip clock that was made for Target and was released in about 2009-2010. Uh, it's a very interesting looking clock. It looks a little bit like a green pill. It's uh, referred to as the model FC1000. It has LED lights. We'll discuss those a little more. It's got the tuning and volume on the side, and this is the adjustment for the to set the alarm. And if you look down at the bottom there, you'll see a little bitty wheel at the very bottom that you'll lose, use to flip the numbers. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this clock and uh, get a good feel for what it's all about. So let's uh, rotate the numbers here. And as you can see, it's fairly loud. And I'm going to show you what an interesting thing it does when it goes to the hour. So as you see, it kind of hesitates. It takes about 12 seconds. Yeah, it's kind of weird that way. Let's go through the switches here. We've got the switch to change the alarm to buzzer or radio. That's the change to AM or to FM. And this is for the sleep selector. If you select sleep, uh, and it'll play the radio for you 30, 60, or 90 minutes. That turns the radio on. That's the snooze button if you have the alarm going off. This is the selector for volume and for tuning. So let's go ahead and listen to the radio. See your way out of it because you had horrible vision. All right, I joke, but FM. seriously, you need to get LASIK it's at the kind of eye strange. care institute. It's usually I mean, where do I start? Here, a lot of music on. Okay, and this is AM and. Of course, now it's playing music. So, um, and there's a, that's a talk radio. I think that's Mike Gallagher's sound after his show. Okay, so radio works really good. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the alarm sounds like. Uh, this selector here uh, will, uh, if you turn the alarm on, we'll go ahead and switch the switch, make sure it's set to buzzer. It's not really a buzzer, you'll hear it in a second here, but the uh, alarm selector really doesn't make a lot of noise at all when you're turning it, and it's really quite strange. As you've probably noticed, this is a 24-hour clock. It uses the military time. If you look close, you see 7 and 19 uh, there. That's both uh, a.m. and p.m., and you set it all at the same time, which is strange. So let's listen to the buzzer now. And as you see, it's more like a beep than a buzzer. It, uh, gain, it gains in intensity as we go along. So I'm just going to go through it and let you get a feel for what this uh, alarm is like. Yes, it does get pretty intense. So, uh, to turn it off, we'll hit the snooze button here. There we go. Yeah, it turns the light on when you hit the snooze, but I wish the light would stay on all the time, but it just comes on to, I guess, let you know that the uh, what time it is when you're waking up. So uh, we'll go ahead now and look at the battery compartment. As right now I'm running on batteries, of course. And it says that we can use the adapter or we can use the three, three use three AA batteries, not included, to run this clock. Now it's kind of strange. We'll go here and take a look. And you'll see there's three batteries and there's an extra compartment and, that, and it's covered in with a sponge there. I'm not sure why that's even like that unless in Europe there's a different kind of battery but um, anyway here we are with this wonderful clock uh, like I said overall it's a really nice clock thanks for your attention and come visit us when you get a chance at flipclockfans.com